Hey there everyone, this is Chef MKT, and welcome back to Let's Play Toho Jensa Moroku, The Devil of Decline. Where's the Patchouli Mouse Casa? Here I am! Yay! Alright, so, as you can see, I've installed the new, uh, installed the expansion. My game version is now 2.03. So we have a nice little new um, menu screen and a little title screen thing thingy as well. That made a lot of sense, didn't it, Chef? It totally did. So we got the four main protagonists in the game you can choose, being all cool and what's not. Don't know about Byakran. Byakran looks weird. She has a very open mouth. <laughs> Same with Mei Ling, but at least she's serious. She's like, all like, oh, and who is that in the background? I wonder. Ponder, ponder, ponder. So for those of you who are wondering why my voice sounds different, if it sounds more handsome and sexy, it's because I just had a haircut. Yes, me having a haircut changes the sound of my voice. Yes. Alright, so, where we last left off, um, I explored the tower a little bit and then ran back out like a little sissy girl. But that's mostly because I wanted to end the video. Now, there was an item that I missed right here. And the only thing that was in there was a pickle stone. So that's all you need to know there. Okay, but on a more serious note. Yeah, let's stay here because the music's awesome. Because I need to go through everything that I did off screen. So if you are totally not interested in this, you're probably better off just skipping to the next video. Fair warning. Okay, so let's look at the Shikigamis that are leveled up, which is all of this here, and see what new moves they got. Bam! Alright, let's start with Su Wako. Su Wako, Su Wako, Su Wako. Um, that's Earth Force, that's already done. Yes, this. So, Su Wako learns Refresh. This is Refresh. 14 MP, 0 turn cooldown. Recovers all HP of a single target. And also heals all status effects on that target. Su Wako also learned a new passive. And I believe it says it gives you a plus one turn buff duration on all buffs that you cast with said character. So yeah, and looks like Suwako's stat growth here, as you can see, high HP, high bits, high pots, and some intelligence to boot. Okay, next. Shell. Shell learned absolutely nothing. But as you can, as you can see, Shell has high HP, strength, and pot growth, so that's kind of nice for a physical base attacker. Nazarin has her entire skill set now, as you can see, and for some reason Nazarin's stats are absolutely ridiculous. 11 HP, 12 strength, 13 dex, 10 pot. Oh my god, that's crazy. Anyway, so um, we have Weapon Bless, Armor Bless, Spell and Hats, Stats Up, and Pendulum Guard. Thank you for telling me, people. Okay, next. I now got my Melon Chan back because for some reason one night put in the expansion, the Shikigami that you get from the code on the um, title screen, you have to re-input it for some reason. So, yeah, there we go, we have another Chad back. Next, now these next few Shikigami here, you can only get if you actually apply the expansion pack, but you can still get them in the main game. So this guy here, you can find in the first stratum. I found this guy in the bamboo forest, so fairly easy to find. Now, I'm not quite sure what the passive here is, but I think it gives you star resistance against all types of status effects that involve controlling your character, so things like charm and control. I think those are the two that come to mind. It gives you resistance against those permanent status effects. Now, what do you have? You have single target charm. Okay, that's not very interesting at all. Next, we have the Mine Village. Yes, one of my favorite Shikigami ever because it makes absolutely no sense. So, Stat Gross, as you can see here, has high HP and high bits. That's kind of cool. Very tanky. Passive is Circle Resistance against Pierce Attacks. Bam! What do you have? You have Resistance Shield. Yeah, Shield. Resistance Shield. I don't know. Anyway, so what does this do? Um, it is a party-wide buff and protects you from, I assume, status effects. Like, gives you a status effect shield for, like, one turn. I think that's what it does. Don't quote me 100% on that, because I haven't actually used it yet. Next, we have the Lesser Demon. You can find this little dooter in, um, 
the first stratum as well in Desert 3. So what do you do? You have Circle Resistance against Dark Attacks. You also have a natural 10 HP regeneration per turn, which is kind of cool. And you have a Dark Lore, single target Dark Attack, 70 base power, so it's a magic base attack, and Gore's Curse. Cool. Next, we have this little guy here. Now this little guy, you can f you don't need the expansion pack for this, but you can find him in Eante. Actually, you know what? I'll show you. But first, um, this gives you circle resistance, uh, circle resistance against poison, and you have uh, control magic. So it is a single target um, attack, or well, not attack, a skill, spell, whatever, and can call and can induce control on the enemy. So meh. It has a lot of HP growth though at level 1. 6 HP at level 1, that's kind of ridiculous. So let's quickly go to Iente. Oh, uh, where's Iente? Boop. Boop, Iente. There we go. Iente! I don't think I actually showed you all the skills on the Shikigamis that I leveled up yet, have I? No, I haven't. <laughs> Whoops, let's go back into that a little bit later then. Alright, so it's on this map here. You just need to like go into this bottom left hand corner of the map. And that's usually where it spawns. Also, this map can also spawn Yakari Towers. Too bad I can't recruit the damn bug yet because it's way too hard to kill one at my level right now. I just need to level up some more. Anyway, more Shikigamis to be to be found. Okay, so next we have the Ninja. Now these next Shikigamis you can pretty much just find in the Sanji River. So Ninja guy, you have circled circled resistance against poison. Uh, uh, circle resistance against instant death has high agility because it's a ninja. Of course, all ninjas are very agile for some reason. Okay, this is a single target physical attack with medium minus power and can cause instant death. This guy, the manuscript, which is this, this little bugger over here, also has it hits two to five times. On a well, it hits two to five times everywhere. <laughs> it, it picks targets randomly, but. This type of attack where it hits multiple times, you could probably use to farm up the Yuckeries. So yeah, that's that guy done. Undine. Okay, Undine. Um, I think you can only get this if you have the expansion, because I did actually see this during the main game when I was going through the Sanji River. Anyway, so you have Circle Circle Resistance against Ice. 40 HP regeneration when Ice is active. And then we have Single Target Heal. And Cold View, which is 50 base power. It's an ice attack that hits a vertical column and can cause freeze. Very simple so far. No, Oshira Sama is very, very odd. So what does this do? So your passive here is that you have a minus 15 casting speed on uh, field spells. So these type of spells here with the globe. So what do you have? I don't know what this is called, and uh, second thing, I don't even know what it does. But I think what it does is that it cr it creates a f it's a field spell, and the field spell is it cannot be overwritten. I think that's what it says. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. If any of you can translate this for me, that would be absolutely fantastic. What's it only costs one MP, so that, I think I'm correct. We'll see. Anyway. So, Jammer. I think that's what I think this is called Jammer, and what does this do? Um, I see a plus two here. Uh, Atlas, please translate. There we go. Alright, so what I think it says it does is that it gives you a plus two uh, resistance against an element that you specify when you use it in battle. So, I'll, I'll use this in battle later on, and I'll see what it does. Okay. Now... So we went through those guys. Okay, go back to the Shikigamis that I leveled up. Tree Guy. You learned this move. I don't know what this is called, but it is a single target dark attack with 100 base power. And has a chance to decrease all stats when it hits an enemy. Cool. Uh, next. The Captain learned nothing. Uh, eyeball Dude with the seven snake heads. What did you learn? You learned Neutral Breath, so it is a Mystic Elemental Breath attack, 70 base power, and damage is dependent on the HP that your Dura has. 
Now, I don't know which way it goes, but I think more HP equals more damage. But don't quote me on that. Alright, next slot, uh, Manuscript. I don't think you learned any new spells or skills. But you did upgrade your first passive, so it now has uh, 20 magic defense when you put it on. And my Yuko now has 100 magic defense, which is a little bit ridiculous because all my other dudes have like zero magic defense, as you can see. Zero, zero, 100. Um, right, Alice. Alice, you learned a barrier element. Yeah, so this gives you a plus two uh, resistance against a specific element you specify when you use the spell. And you can actually spam it. Huh, interesting. But it's only single target, which is a little bit useless. It's more useful if it's a party-wide thing. Medicine, did you learn anything? Mm, no, you did not. Okay. Next, Tree Guy. Tree Guy learned nothing. Uh, PC Naya Marissa learned nothing. Cherno, Cherno learned something. You learned absolute zero. So this is a single target ice attack. 10 MP, 2 turn cooldown. 160 base power and can decrease pot. So yeah, that's actually a very high power single target ice attack, which is very nice. Okay. Unicorn guy, you learned this move. Whatever this is. So it is a party-wide spell. 14 MP, 3 turn cooldown, and heals all status effects. Cool. Sylph. Sylph, you learned this thing here, I think. No. You learned this thing. Um, so this is a field effect. 30 MP, 7 turn cooldown, and I think what it does... It has something to do with a lightning elemental attacks, and I think what it does, it makes them all go first, regardless of how slow it is. I think that's what it does, but don't quote me on that. Please don't. So if anyone knows exactly what this field effect does, please let me know, because that'd be fantastic, because this is a very expensive spell. And Sylph also learned of this, Intense Lightning. So 6 MP, 1 turn cooldown, 4 screen lightning attack with 100 base power, and it can cause shock. It also has the same modifier on Breath Attacks, where it's like, it, the damage is based on HP. So yeah, that's kind of neat, I suppose. Finally, we have Flan. Flan learned Disintegrate. Single target fire attack, uh, 10 MP to the cooldown, and has a 180 base power. Fantastic. Now, you probably noticed here that um, my Sunny Milk used to be in the spot, but now I have Utsuho. It's mostly because Sunny Milk was like level 35. So I decided to use this time to level up Utsuho, now she's like almost level 30, so everyone's pretty much caught up. And my other party members are also around level 30 as well, so I can probably start switching people out, as I wish. So, last thing that I need to go over is, um, probably the items that I found. That's, yeah, I think I only found two items though, so I found this weapon here from the Allosaurus, I'll show you that in a second. So it has 103 physical attack, 83 accuracy, can decrease pot at a medium chance, and also has a very good chance to cause critical hits. So Allosaurus, uh, where's my bestiary? Bestiary. So I never actually used a stream before, but this is all the categories of the enemies you can find in the game. And you can use L or R to, to switch between them. And there's also an all category where it displays every monster in the game. So then you can press left or right to find enemies that you've seen. Now the information that you can actually find in this game is based on how many times you've encountered that enemy. So, uh, take for example, um, this thing. This thing, I have the stats for it. But, I don't have like the resistances it has, or the item drops, or if I can recruit it, recruit it or not. So, the more times you fight an enemy, the more information you can get in the bestiary, and so on. Now, you probably saw a few little spoilers there when I was scrolling through that, sorry about that, but let's go to the reptiles. So, this is the Allosaurus. As you can see, I fought this lots of times, so I have the resistances for it. And over here, it has the item drop. And this little symbol here indicates that I have picked up that item. And this is this spot here is where it says if you can recruit it or not. And if you have recruited it, you'll have this little symbol here as well. Anyway, 
With that, there is one more item that I found from Zer Undine. It's not very interesting though. So the Undine, the Undine dropped this item for me. It is an Undine armor, 36 physical defense, and that's it. So that's not very interesting at all. Okay, so I think what I will do is I will go to the Sanzu River because there is a Shikigami, a, little, a Shikigami that I need to recruit here. Because I totally missed it. <laughs> and there's also another Shikigami you can find here randomly. So hopefully I can kill two birds with one stone. Ow. <laughs> As you can see, Undines are pretty dangerous. Undines are pretty dangerous with their four screen ice attacks. So yeah, if I can find both the Shikigamis I want to get within the one trip, on screen of course, that would be great. But if not, I'll probably have to cut the video and just cut two when I actually find the damn bugger. So, one Shikigami you can find here completely at random, the other one you gotta, you gotta just go to the spot where I was before that I completely missed. Oh dear, so now the question is, do I know where I need to go? That is the question, I think it's over here. Yes, no, maybe? I actually can't remember where, how to actually get to the place I need to go, I honestly don't remember. Okay, but it was... Uh, I need to go to one of the portals. I think. Was it? I don't even remember anymore, bugger. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut to where I'm going to need to find the damn Shikigamis, okay? So give me one second while I go do that. Found it! It wasn't actually that far from the um, entrance. Or the back entrance, so... Um, yeah, there's a little shadow right here. I didn't actually see this when I was going through it the first time, but apparently this is actually a Shikigami you can get! So thank you people that have told me, because I would have completely missed this, and I actually did. So, what was that? Question mark? This seems very suspicious, doesn't it? So it is. I wonder who was here? Hello! Who are you? It is... What? I guess this is supposed to be. <laughs> Uteho is like completely freaking out. It's like a ball of talking light. And who would who wouldn't be freaked out? Hey, hey, calm down now. Simmer down, Fluffies. It's only just me. Your friendly neighborhood UFO. Yes, people have spoiled who this was, unfortunately. But yeah, it's new. Or new way. How do you pronounce that name anyway? Is it new? I'm just gonna call it new. So, could you like reveal yourself now, buddy? That'd be great. <laughs> what is up with this ball of light? It is so shiny. I just want to... Oh, there you are. Hello! Oh! <laughs> Everyone's so shocked it's her. What's up? I've abs I actually got absolutely nothing. But I gotta admit, the sprite for new looks really nice. Very detailed with all the red wing and the blue wing, so all the nice crazy patterns and whatnot. Looks kinda nice. Yes, it does. So, whoa, whoa. Hey now, Reimu. If you wanna go, if you wanna have your way of new, you need to at least buy her dinner first, maybe take her out to a movie, show her a nice time. <laughs> <laughs> Raimi is a little bit up front, as you can see. So, yeah. Huh. Now, actually, what would New actually do in this game? How would you specify what she does? Because she's really weird. Huh. Well, my guess is maybe she will specialize in, like, status effects. That's my first guess, but I actually have no idea. I want to go check, take a look-see now, whoops. And look at that, my second page is almost completely full now. Oh. Okay, that's not what I expected. So, you're like a dragon maid. You have circle resistance against fire, ice, earth and lightning. You also come with four attacks, but these are not breath attacks, so you're like a mix of the dragon maid plus the fairy maid. Interesting. So what's this? This is Thunderclap, so that's 80 uh, full screen lightning attack with 80 base power. Cold view, so that's 50 base power, so that's absolutely weak. 
uh, Toxic Cloud, so that's 85 base power. That's actually pretty good. And Detonate, which is 60 base power, so yeah. That's rather interesting how that works. So what does the Fairy Maid have? If I can find the damn bugger. Yeah. So you have... Yeah, so this thing has like a, a lot more stronger attacks. Well, well, it only has this and Eruption, <laughs> so... Huh. So new was a little bit redundant. Which is a bit of a shame, to be quite honest. I'm sad now. Okay, so let's go find the, sh the other Shikigami that's in this area that you need to find completely at random. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another cut here, and then when we come back, you'll see me fight the Shikigami. Oh my god. That took like 15 to 20 minutes to find her. Okay, so we have Shizuha in the Sanzu River for some reason. I don't even know what she's doing here. I don't even know how she's floating on water, to be quite frank, but anyway. So, new attack moves that I've learned. Let's take a look, see. So, I learned this. This can cause silence. See right there, silence. Over here, we have blind. They're not very strong, though. Medium power, medium plus. And that's been that's always been there. And did I show you guys this? I'm not even sure. Probably I have. Anyway, so let's take a look. Let's see if I can silence her. Uh, Yuko's new moves. We have this thing here. Now this one's very interesting, I think. Because it has a large minus power, but also has a secondary effect. And the damage will actually increase if the enemy has like a status effect on them. So that's very nice, I think. I might abuse that, we'll see. Um, I learned this move in like the fight with Sho and um, what's her face, Nazarin. But I learned this on my Chulia, if I recall. So it has Slayer effects against Immortals and um, Spirit type enemies, I find. If I'm reading that correctly, I think so, yep. So this move, my Yuka learned before, it's large minus power. It ha apparently has a high accuracy and casting speed, and has slayer effects against beast and insect type enemies. It's the one where um, they set themselves on fire and then charge it into the enemy. I really love that attack, by the way. So this is a new move as well. I'm not quite sure what this is called, but it has medium power, um, has high accuracy, and has slayer effects against beast enemies and reptiles. So let's. Let's take a look at this one. Bam. Um, Shikieki, you learned quite a few new moves as well. So we have this move here. It's very odd because it has a medium plus power single target, but can cause freeze. Then we have this move here. It has a large minus power and can cause curse. Is that curse? I actually don't know if that's actually curse or dispel at this point. <laughs> actually, that looks like dispel. I'm pretty sure this, yeah, this is dispel. So, now this one's an interesting one here. It has large power, and it can actually temporarily decrease all stats for one turn. Well, on that turn, it's a quick status effect. So that one's a little bit weird. And then this one's also very interesting, I think. So it has a medium power and has high accuracy, but the power of this attack will increase, I think. It's either if your character has a really low HP, or if the enemy has like a debuff on it or something. I'm not quite sure. It, it has... it will increase in power in some fashion. I don't know what it is though, exactly. But it has a pretty cool animation. So let's take a look at all of them as well. So we have this one here. And we don't have, it, have any... we don't have anything here. Or we do have this. So let's look, take a look at what Absolute Zero looks like. And well, let's take a look at what Intense Lightning looks like. No, before we do that, I want to see the field effects. Field effects, bam. What the? Hey, you made me. You made me weak to fire! That was pretty cool. Lethal poison. Oh! Now that looked cool. Yeah, that looked okay. <laughs> that missed. Now, what does this do? I wonder. Maybe I read that wrong. I think this makes me attack first. <laughs> okay, let's try to blind her. Um, 
Let's take a look at this move. Tried that one. Let's take a look at um, this move here. Uh, it's on a seventh turn corner. Let's take a look at detonation. Uh, disintegrate. Ooh, shiny. Yeah! Now that looked really cool there with all those rainbow colorful slashes. That field effect I used with Sylph, all of my party members actually went first that turn. And Shizuha actually did not take a turn. So I think what Sylph's um, field effect does, it, it makes my entire party go first before the enemy. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Which is really damn useful, I must say. <laughs> Okay, so we have the Shizuha now. We have the Aki sisters together again. Yay, yayifications. So let's take a look. Oh, I've got my second page completely filled up now. So let's see what you do. Okay, so you have plus 5% casting speed on buffs. Okay, that's your passive. What do you have? You have... Earth Wall, so that's a party-wide uh, physical defense buff. And you have Heat Weapon, which is the physical attack party-wide buff. Okay, so you're another buffer, that's cool. And that got me right into a battle. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to go to Desert Free on the third stratum to find the last Shikigami, and I probably will call it an end for this video, I suppose. So let's go! Desert Free! Now, this might take me a while as well, because it took me like 15 or 20 minutes to freaking fight Shizuha. So if that's the case, I probably will do another cut, and I think I actually will do that right after this battle. So give me one second while I go find the Shikigami that I'm looking for. Looking for... That took just about as long to find Kokuma. oh my goodness. Okay, well at least I found her now. I'm all happy. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, what I saw I want to show you guys. Um, boop. 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 Nothing interesting here. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's go shop. Let's go shop Holy Zapper. Why not? Because she's probably weak to light attacks. That's my guess. Alright, so I showed you that thing. Uh, you've already seen this. You've seen this. You've seen that. Um... Wait, what, what typing is she? Whoops. What typing is she? Oh, she's that. So, this will actually work very well on her, because I have Slayers against that effect. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Slayers against that uh, enemy type. Bam! If I sound tired, it's because I really am. That finding Kokuma took so much out of me. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. um, I showed you that. I showed you that. Let's show off this. Um, you don't have anything to show. Do you have anything to show? Oh, yes, you do. We can show off this intense lightning. And you have 100 megavolts, but my Rami resisted it. Thank goodness. Oh, that, that actually looked really cool. Dark web. Oh, no. Ow. Oh, yes. Slayer effects. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, baby. Mm, that looked really nice. Alright, so let's bash your face in. Let's use that. Uh, show off this, whatever it was. I need to heal up. I need to heal up, but I don't have any heals. Oh god. Uh, that's Leaf Shield, isn't it? Let's Leaf Shield my Utsuho, because she has 1 HP from Dark Web. Mega Flare! Oh, well, my Yuko now has last one as well. Let's go Mega Flare. Bam. Mm, delicious. Take that. Aha, but Utsuho survives. <laughs> and everyone else dies. Ah, oh, yeah. Like a boss. But yeah, it looks like Kokuma is a dark uh, elemental user. That'd be very nice to have, I suppose. Man, that dark web kills me really badly. Okay, so... Now... Before I forget, there's probably one person going, Yes, yeah, I told you about that one place you haven't explored in Desert 4. Why have you not gone there yet? 
Yeah, I actually did forget it. I forget about it until as I was going around finding Cold Kumba, I was like, oh wait, there's this place that someone told me to go to that I haven't been yet for some reason. So yeah, let's go. What's over here? Got all of the dudes here, and Mako, like walking around with her hands in her pockets because she is like a, such a boss. So, oh, who was that? Hello. Who might you be? Oh. Holy crap, it's Kanako. <laughs> Kanako is just like, yeah, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just gonna sit here in this desert being all cool and stuff, just sit here and wait until Rainbow comes along so we can play games together and like have a tea party. That's kind of nice. <sighs> so it looks like Utsuho and Kanako definitely have a relationship, especially in um, whatever game it was that she appeared in. Subterranean Animism. I don't know why. For some reason, I keep forgetting what the 11th game is called. I just have this major brain fart, like, after um, 10 and above. I just have a massive brain fart. So, yeah. Now, obviously, Kanako is going to be a major boss and be, like, have really super cool, awesome moves. That is probably going to be lightning elemental type moves. That's my guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop being so serious, guys. Come on, guys. She just wants to tag along with us. Okay. If you say so, but if she makes one wrong move, I'm going to stab her in the face. Fine. That is a, that is our terms of agreement, Kanako. <laughs> if you make one wrong move, you're almost going to stab you in the face. Alright, let's go. You know, also need to mention that I got myself a new chair. It is so comfortable. If there are some things, if there are some things in life that you need to spend money on, it is a good bed and a good chair. Because you spend one thirty for life in a bed, and might as well be a good one. And in the case for me, I spend about the other two thirds of my life sitting in a chair. So <laughs> might as well spend some money on a good chair. Uh, that's, some, uh, that's some advice from me to you. Get a good chair, get a good bed. You'll be so much more happier and... Mako, whoa. What was that all about? Did you like have a massive sneeze attack or something? You guys talk way too much. Okay, we've got a Kanako and a Kawakuma. Oh, before I forget, let's take a look all around in this little area here. Maybe there's a hidden, hidden little gift for me. No, anything over here. No, just a massive void. Nothing here, nothing here, okay. Let's take a quick look at our two new little pals before we end the video because I'm hungry and I need lunch. Kawakuma. You have whatever this is. Um, I think that says Dark Illusion, is that correct? Anyway, so what does this do? So it is a party-wide buff and protects you from one attack that is physical based, I think. Is that is that what it says? Well, oh, excuse me. Is that what it says, game? I think that's what it says. Anyway. And then we have here Dark Lua, so we already know what that does, a single target dark attack. Oh, and this is not what I expected. So this is Coil, it's a medium minus physical attack that can cause paralysis, okay, what is this? Meteor... Meteor on Bashira? Okay, so this is going to be unique to Kanako, it is a full screen physical attack. And the damage that it deals is based on the level of your character. So putting this on Reimu would be probably the opt optimal choice. But that is a very expensive MB cost, oh my goodness. And what does this do? It is a missile. So Kanako can shoot missiles. Fantastic. All right, so what does Kanako's passive do? Uh, let me scroll up a little bit. You, it's 1% and something, or 1% chance to nullify a magic. 
nullify a magic attack completely. Wow, okay, that seems very random. And you have circle resistance against dark. Okay, that seems more common. Okay, so we are now done for this video. Thank you for watching. Time to go end it. Dear Princess Celestia, Today, I have learned that my voice changes when I have a new haircut. I don't know why this is the case, and it's probably not very common, but I wonder, if I go completely bald, what would happen to my voice? Your faithful student, ChefMKT. See you guys next time.